The Mark 13 torpedo was a standard-issue torpedo used by the United States Navy during World War II. It was first developed in 1940 by the Electric Boat Company and was primarily used by submarines. The Mark 13 was an improvement over the previous Mark 10 torpedo, which had a number of technical issues. One of the most interesting facts about the Mark 13 is its range. With a maximum range of 4,500 yards at a speed of 46 knots, it was one of the longest range torpedoes of its time. This range was especially important for submarines, which often had to engage in long-range attacks against enemy ships. The Mark 13 torpedo's range allowed the American submarines to engage and attack the enemy ships from a safe distance, avoiding counterattacks or detection. Another interesting fact is its warhead. The Mark 13 had a 600-pound TNT warhead, making it one of the most powerful torpedoes of its time. This powerful warhead was capable of causing significant damage to enemy ships, which made the Mark 13 a valuable weapon in the fight against the Axis powers. The Mark 13 was able to sink enemy ships with just one hit, making it a highly desirable weapon for the US Navy. The Mark 13 also featured an advanced guidance system. It used a simple magnetic exploder, which caused the torpedo to detonate when it came within a certain distance of a ship's steel hull. This guidance system was effective in sinking enemy ships, but it also had some drawbacks. It was not as precise as more advanced guidance systems used by other torpedoes. The magnetic exploder was also subject to interference from the ship's own magnetic field, which could cause the torpedo to detonate prematurely. The Mark 13 was used extensively in World War II, with over 15,000 being produced during the war. It was used in many of the major engagements of the war, including the Battle of Midway, the Battle of the Atlantic, and the Pacific War. The Mark 13 played a significant role in the United States Navy's efforts during World War II, and it was responsible for sinking many enemy ships. Despite its successes, the Mark 13 had a number of issues. One of the most significant was its tendency to run deeper than set, which caused it to miss many of its targets. This problem was especially prevalent in the Pacific theater, where the water was much deeper than in the Atlantic. This problem was eventually addressed with the development of the Mark 18 torpedo, which had a more advanced depth control system. The Mark 18 was also faster and had a longer range than the Mark 13, making it a more effective weapon against enemy ships. Another issue with the Mark 13 was its reliability. The torpedo had a number of mechanical problems that caused it to malfunction during combat. This was especially true in the early stages of the war, when the torpedo was still being perfected. The reliability of the Mark 13 improved as the war went on, but it was still not as reliable as other torpedoes used by the United States Navy. The reliability issues were primarily caused by the Mark 13's complex mechanical systems, which were prone to malfunction in the harsh conditions of war. Despite its issues, the Mark 13 torpedo was a valuable weapon for the United States Navy during World War II. It played a significant role in the war effort and its impact on naval warfare should not be overlooked. The Mark 13's range, warhead, and guidance system were all advanced for its time and made it a formidable weapon against enemy ships. The Mark 13 was responsible for sinking a large number of enemy ships, which helped the US Navy gain the upper hand in the Pacific War. The Mark 13 torpedo also had a significant impact on the Battle of the Atlantic. It was used by American submarines to attack German U-boats, which were a major threat to Allied shipping. The Mark 13's long-range and powerful warhead allowed American submarines to sink U-boats from a safe distance, which helped to turn the tide of the Battle of the Atlantic in favor of the Allies. In addition to its military use, the Mark 13 torpedo also had a significant impact on the development of naval technology. The Mark 13 was one of the first torpedoes to use an advanced guidance system, which was a major step forward in the development of torpedoes. The Mark 13's guidance system was also the basis for the development of more advanced torpedoes, such as the Mark 18. The Mark 13 was also notable for its mobility, its ability to maneuver in the water and change direction, which allowed it to evade countermeasures and hit its target. This mobility feature made it more effective than other torpedoes that were in use at that time. It's important to note that the Mark 13 torpedo had a significant impact on the outcome of the Pacific War. 
the American submarines armed with the Mark 13 were able to sink a large number of Japanese ships, which helped the U.S. Navy gain the upper hand in the Pacific War. This in turn, had a significant impact on the outcome of the war and the final victory of the Allies. The Mark 13 torpedo's impact on the development of naval technology should not be overlooked. The Mark 13's guidance system was a major step forward in the development of torpedoes, and it served as the basis for the development of more advanced torpedoes such as the Mark 18. The Mark 13's mobility feature was also significant and set a standard for future torpedoes. In conclusion, the Mark 13 torpedo played a significant role in the United States Navy's efforts during World War II. Its range, warhead, guidance system, mobility and impact on naval technology made it a formidable weapon against enemy ships. The Mark 13's impact on naval warfare and the outcome of World War II should not be overlooked, and it is an important part of the history of naval warfare. The Mark 13's legacy can be seen in the continued development of naval technology and its impact on the outcome of World War II.